Welcome to Car C in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Gia cars. And today's episode is sponsored by Blue Gold, who specialize in this water repellent films and products. First of all, we will be applying this to a Tesla right here, as you can see. Blue Gold currently only has these for Tesla yet, but these will come into productions on other brands and vehicles as well. And over here is Louie, and this is a cloth that you can apply on your glasses, and it will make the water repellent as well on the glasses. Right here, you can see that not only can you use it on glasses, but just pretty much such as camera lens on your phones and camera lens on cameras and ski goggles on helmets, and you can get creative with it. And over here, the explanation is also written in English, so go check it out. I'll drop the purchase link down in the below, so feel free to check it out. And I'll be showing you how to apply it on your cars. Of course, you don't need the full car wash, but make sure your mirrors are clean. And as you can see from the film, the blue, it has the number here. So it tells you which one should be peeled off first. You'll see the white clear film coming off from the center to the outwards push it out using a uh, squeezer or maybe if you don't have it use your credit card push it out push out the water okay so just like that super clean and let's go check out how water repellent this film is all right so you're seeing the result so this is the film water repellent film from the blue gold and I'm here today at 2021 Seoul Mobility Show. And it's the largest exhibition about the autos here in Korea. This is Hyundai Ioniq 5 fully autonomous car. And how is that possible? That's all possible with the, this countless radars that you see right here. Also right on the top and everything here, it's completely finished in pixel designs. Cameras there, the sensors here. So this car is completely packed with the radars and sensors. So this is EGMP that sits underneath all of the 100% EV car from Hyundai Motor Group. That's including in Ionic 5, EV6, and GV60 and other EV cars to come. Heritage Series Pony, which is the first one that Hyundai came up with. And the second one, also I've just uploaded it. It's right above here, which is Heritage Series Granger. That one I have inside out completely, so make sure you go check it out. And that's a beautiful Hyundai 7. A concept, and it's mostly going to be Hyundai Ioniq 7, which is the big size SUV, and of course, full EV. And you can see what Hyundai is representing with this concept. And don't just focus too much on the exterior, but the inside is what really sets the bar high above the comp competitors. And this right here, it's so good to see this car again. I met this car back in Busan, Hyundai Motor Studio, Busan. And this is Prophecy, which is a concept version for Ionic 6. And I really have high hopes for this car. Hopefully this car would make its way out the factory line as much as the, you know, with the concept and the design that this car is currently carrying. Of course, not those gigantic wheels and calipers, no. But I really hope that Hyundai would push out this beautiful pixel-inspired headlight. This is Hyundai's first microcar SUV that just recently rolled out. And it's limited to domestic market only. Just look at this cute DRL, the headlights. And this is actually NA, naturally aspirated model. How do I know? There is a turbo, and with the turbo, you have another circle right here compared to the naturally aspirated engine. This pushes about 100 horsepower. And if you are choosing between the two, I urge you to get this car. And this is Kia Nero, and I actually have very close ups right above, so don't miss out. This is Nero HEV. It gets completely redesigned Tiger Face. This is reinvented solely for the Nero. And right here is the heartbeat DRL that Gia pointed out. Just one takeaway from the exterior when it comes to the Neo HEV versus EV is look right here. It's super clean, sleek, 
one horizontal vine. This is Nero EV, but you see the difference right here? Because of the charger port that's sitting right in the front, they have to cut out a little bit of the tiger face, but if this reminds me of more of the tiger nose that we used to have. Cut open and the duct is actually open that's connected right to the back. And a viewer asked me if that duct is going to help keep the rear glass clean. Um, I'm not really so sure about that, but the way it's angled, it will send out the dirty air this way. So I hope there won't be any much of a vortex created right here. And it also there is a big spoiler that stretches all the way out to here, from there to here. So I highly doubt that there's gonna be a lot of dust collected. And you know, worst case scenario, we get the rear wiper. So that's all good. And this is also the third brake light that's all the way from here to here. So during the nighttime, you'll see, you know, super clear, the car is stopping and braking, looking at that one, as well as that. Is the reflector, the reverse light, as well as rear turn signals. This is the most powerful Gia has thus far, and this is EV6 GT. It's not GT line, it's not EV6, but EV6 GT. That pushes about 580 horsepower. I've met this car several months ago, right at the EV6 showcase and debut. So I have a little bit of a closer shot of this car, so don't miss it out. Again, everything that I am showing you today, I've already gone through and there are cards. So don't miss out that video, it's right up there. Welcome to the Genesis booth right here. This is GV60. Also, I've gone through the exterior, interior, and definitely the drive. And I've driven the all wheel drive version with the performance that's got the boost mode on. I will also be test driving one momentarily, so don't miss it out. Over here is electrified GV70 that recently debuted in China. And right now it's making its presence here in Korea. Headlight and this portion is also the turn signal as well. And I really like the fact that they have kept this front lip and also this huge radiator grill, which is the characteristics of the internal combustion engine, despite the fact that Genesis GV60 is our all out full EV car. Electrified G80. The grill is the same thing as the EGV70 that we just saw. It's positioned right here, which is completely covered but it has the radar sensors right here with the camera and a little bit of a little bit of a vent for the radiator grill underneath as well again i've covered this car extensively i met this car in person go check it out on the card and the video above i absolutely love this car by the way just take a look at the beautiful double line headlines right there with the massive grill and also the wheels I love that center out wheel. And I'm, I really like the fact that the Genesis and other Hyundai Motor Group cars are pushing towards the neon caliper with the high performance models. So this is all wheel drive performance model, the same one that we've driven. It's got the boost button in it. The outside, we've seen it plenty of times and don't miss it out. The reviews are already all up there. So let's get in and test drive this thing. This is the boost mode that I talked about. So it lasts for 10 seconds with this amazing graphic like it sucks you right into it let's see how many times i can go up last time i actually calculated up to i counted up to six times consecutive but i bet oh never mind oh, okay so again i'm going three times in a row and going again fourth so you can use this one on and on and on. In a moment, I want to show you how to get into the drift mode. So going into the drift mode on Genesis GV60, put on the parking mode and press hold the brakes. The, dri the drive mode is sport. Make sure you're in the sport and turn off the ECS to a second level, which is press hold and it says it's completely off and pull down the pedal shifter left and right for three seconds let's do it okay so drift mode right here finally i got into it so it says the drift mode has been activated and then now you put the car into drive and enjoy the car that's it you see the drift right here